And I'm very excited to announce that the next read aloud will be Half Magic by Edward Eager, a book that I have had for a long time. It was discarded from the Timberland Library. And let's read what it's about. An ordinary summer becomes an extraordinary adventure when four young children who have been reading the magic books of E. Nesbitt, who is a real author that I am excited to one day share with you, stumble on a magical world of their own. It all began when Jane it all begins when Jane finds a coin that turns out to be an ancient talisman. In no time at all, strange things begin to happen, and soon the children discover the coin will grant them half a wish. To get a complete wish, they must ask for twice as much as they want. They take turns making wishes. Mark's wish lands him in the Sahara, lands him in the Sahara Desert, and Catherine's transports them back to the days of King Arthur. And right in the midst of the incredible happenings, the children acquire a stepfather, an event that causes Jane to make one more wish. A book children will want to read at one sitting, says Virginia Haviland of the Library Journal. The author has brought inventiveness, enthusiasm, and wit to his tale about four very real, real children in nonsensical situations, says Polly Goodwin of the Chicago Tribune. This book was published in 1954, so almost 70 years ago, and the characters in it lived in the 1970s. I love these N.M. Boddicker drawings, and I think I might actually do the video artwork for each chapter with them. Yes, 1954, Hardcourt, Grace, and World, and I am excited to introduce you to the cat in that picture. So we will see you in chapter one of Half Magic.